This is graphing um, a quadratic function in vertex form. The method I'm going to teach you in this video is to identify the critical point of the vertex and then find four additional points left and right. So here is those steps again written down. Vertex form is you have some multiplier possibly and then x minus h all squared and then plus k. What your critical point is going to be is your h and your k. So what we're going to do is think about back to our rules of transformations. If you think about this, what this does is it pushes all of the ordered pairs from your parent to the right four. Think opposite, it's inside the function, so it affects the x-axis, so it's right four. And this is outside the function, that affects the y-axis, so it's going to push everything up five units. So from your origin, which is your parent for your quadratic, it would be 0, 0. What we're going to do is we're going to push everything to the right 4 and then up 5. So our graph will be right 4 and up 5. There is our what we call our critical point or our vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and write that first point down, 4 and 5. And my equation here in the blue is y equals the quantity of x minus 4 all squared plus 5. Now, this process that we're going to go through is we're going to pick a number to the right and left. So right one would be five, left one would be three. So three and five. We're going to pick one more right and left. So it'd be six and two. And what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the function. We're going to substitute in. So I say three minus four, all squared plus five equals 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Add 5, and we get 6. So if I graph that first order pair, I'm over 3 and up 6. Now I should have symmetry. Let's just check it here. 5 minus 4 squared plus 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add it, and we get 6. So the other order pair is over 5, up 6. So we're getting our symmetry. Now we're going um, 2 right and 2 left, so we're choosing that 6 and 2. We evaluate the function. So 6 minus 4, all squared. 6 minus 4 is 2, squared. 4 plus 5 is 9. So we graph that order pair over 6. 9, and then we should get on the other one, also 9 when we evaluate. So let's check. So 6 minus 2, all squared plus 5. 6 minus 2 is 4, squared. Oops, I found it. It should be 2 minus 4, excuse me. 2 minus 4 is negative 2 squared plus 5 is 4 plus 5 is 9. All right, Ooh, we're good there. So over 2, up 9. So there is our beautiful looking quadratic function. If you remember x of symmetry, x of symmetry runs right through the uh, vertex. That line is at x equals 4. This point here is what we call our min minimum, our vertex, over 4 up 5. So let's identify a few important pieces here. Our x of symmetry is at x equals 4. Our y-intercept we'll leave alone for a minute. Our x-intercept, if we look, on the x-axis here, it doesn't touch at all. So there isn't an x-intercept set. Our domain is what can we plug in for x? We can plug in all real numbers. Or negative infinity to positive infinity. Our range, if you remember, if I grab this horizontal line, it's everything above that horizontal line. So at 5. So we'd say then, y is greater than or equal to 5. If you 
you don't like that notation, which I prefer you to do this next notation, from 5 to positive infinity. Now we have one thing left. We want to find the y-intercept. Where does it touch on the y-axis? So we know it's something above 10 here. So I'm going to go ahead and just rewrite this equation that we have. g of x, x minus 4, all squared, plus 5. And if you remember how you find intercepts, if I want the y-intercept, I'm just going to drop that g of x notation and change it to y. And I'm going to substitute 0 in for x. And I'm going to solve it for y. So negative 4 squared. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. Plus 5 is 21. Well, we want you to write that as a coordinate, an ordered pair. So it's over 0 up 21.